This is a brief demonstration of converged application and infrastructure performance management with EG Enterprise. I've logged onto the monitor directly from the web and we're looking at an end user experience dashboard. Now, while we offer synthetic user monitoring, this is real end user experience from real user interactions, not a simulation. At the top of the page, we see key performance indicators, traffic and page views, device distribution, the number of unique sessions, the app deck score, page load time, and whether or not there's any errors. We can also see a geographic distribution of users. We can see uh, the top five slow countries, the top five slow page groups, the distribution of the app deck score. In this case, this user has even added some widgets uh, showing some trending graphs and other charts that are useful uh, in managing the end user experience. You'll notice that the key performance indicators are color coded just like the rest of the alarms in e the EG Innovations uh, system. Red would indicate a critical issue, orange would be a major issue, yellow would be a minor issue, uh, blue would be uh, unknown, probably under maintenance, uh, and green would, of course, be normal. So in this case, we have an issue with page load time. So let's take a look at that and see what's going on. The transaction details window shows us the slow transactions, the URL, and some statistics associated with the transaction. In this case, page load time, the browser time, network time, content download time, and the server time. We can click the detailed diagnostics icon to see some more. We now see a visual representation of what's going on. Overall, this transaction took 30 seconds, and in one quick snapshot, you can see the slowdown is on the server time, almost 26 seconds. Now on the left, I can see information about the user. I can see information about the browser, information about the network connect time, information about the content download time, and of course the server, and in this case, that's where the issue is. So this is where most real user monitoring products stop. You would have to throw it over the wall to another team who would use a different tool or you'd have to window into another tool if you had one and start looking at details in your data center. But we could go to more details from here very easily. By going back to the end user experience dashboard, I can just click on the topology view. Now here's a topology view of the service. This illustrates the end-to-end -end data flow elements for this service inside the data center. This clearly shows everything you need to know about this service delivery from within your data center. And it's used for our patented correlation approach. You can see that the correlation coding applies here too. We have some minor issues. This uh, Cisco router is okay. Traffic manager has a minor issue here. The web is okay. The Oracle web logic has some minor issues and so forth. I can click on the alarm icon to get some details. In this case, we have a lot of slow transactions on this Oracle uh, uh, data, uh, WebLogic server. So let's go ahead and click uh, again anywhere we see the detailed diagnosis icon, we can click to get some more information. And in this case, what it does is brings up a list of snapshots transaction snapshots for this particular uh, service. Again, by using the detailed diagnosis icon, I can take a look at one of the transaction snapshots. Now this takes me to basically an execution map of the transaction, and it shows all of the steps that were needed to complete the transaction and how much time each step took. It also shows us that we have icons at each step that shows us the status. In this case, a checkbox would be healthy, uh, the hourglass would be slow, the garbage can would be stalled, and the little bug would mean that we have an error. So in this case, it's clear that we have some uh, issues associated with the database queries. So let's go ahead and click that 
and drill down further. The call drill down window shows us information about the slow queries. In this case, we have three queries that are all showing a minor alarm. The call drill down window shows us the query, the execution time, and what database each query is accessing. But let's go back to the transaction snapshot for a moment. Now this is pretty much where those full software stack monitoring products stop. But in this case, we had three slow database queries. How do we know the issue is not with the database itself and not in the query code? Again, with most application performance management products, you wouldn't know. You'd have to throw it over the wall again or window out into another tool. But EG Enterprise lets us go right into the supporting infrastructure to see if that's where the issue is. If we go back to the topology view, we can see that EG Enterprise is telling us that there's a higher priority alarm on the Oracle database server. Now we could click on the major alarm and see some details. In this case, we've got some archive errors, but let's drill down into the Oracle database and take a closer look. EG Enterprise tells us that the Oracle database server is running on a virtual infrastructure. And more than that, it's telling you that the critical alarm is on the ESX host. So let's click on that. We now see a layer model. This illustrates the top to bottom dependency elements of the correlation. Each component of the end-to-end -end IT service will have a layer model that is loosely based on the OSI model. Each layer is dependent on the layer beneath it. Again, the color coding tells us we have a disk space issue at the OS layer, physical disk space usage on the ESX host. But everything you've just seen in this demonstration happens automatically in real time. Well, you can go back and walk through what's happening uh, just like we uh, did. The monitor automatically tells you right away where the root cause of the issue. In this case, disk space on the ESX host. This is what caused the archive errors on the Oracle database and what created all the minor alarms that rippled across all the components of the end-to-end -end IT service. You're looking at EG's correlated alarm window. These alarms can be emailed, linked to a troubled ticketing system, or sent to a service team's chat room, depending on your process requirements. When things go wrong, it's not enough to know it's somewhere in the back end or that it might be a database query. You need to pinpoint exactly where the cause is as soon as possible. So regardless of where you sit in your organization, EG Enterprise will automatically diagnose what's happening across your entire end-to-end -end IT services and provide the right stakeholders with actionable information. This was a brief demonstration of EG Innovations total performance visibility. Contact EG Innovations to learn more.